New details here in the arrest of an Elk Grove woman accused of leading a white supremacist terrorist organization online. Yeah, KCRA 3 investigates Lizay Mitri has been going through new court documents and Lizay, she joins us live from the newsroom. What did you find in these new documents? Lisa, federal prosecutors say Dallas Humber and the other accused leader of the Terragram Collective, Matthew Allison of Idaho, should stay behind bars while they wait for trial. They say they're too dangerous and would likely try to escape. Right now, we know Humber is in the Sacramento County Jail, leaving only for court like we saw on Monday. We were there as she pleaded not guilty to some very serious charges. An indictment outlined 15 counts, things like soliciting hate crimes, soliciting the murder of federal officials, officials and providing support to terrorists. In this new court document, prosecutors now say Humber was found with Nazi paraphernalia, 3D printed guns, ammunition and other weapons, including an AR-15. They say she also had a notebook that listed white supremacist attackers she's been in contact with, including convicted killer Dylan Roof. The documents say Humber is a flight risk because she's not married, has no children, works unsalaried jobs, and doesn't own a home. Prosecutors say she has minimal connections to the local community, but she could rely on her ties to an international network of terrorists to hide. Now, this is all leading up to a hearing Friday where prosecutors and Humber's newly appointed defense attorney will discuss what a judge should consider when deciding if Humber should stay in jail until trial. So, Lizay, do you know why they're filing this right now? Is her attorney asking for her release? Actually, it's just because the charges are so serious in this case, a detention hearing is mandatory. Uh, at this point, Humber is looking at life in prison if she's convicted on all of these charges. All right, Lizay Mitri, thanks for looking into that for us and investigating it. The documents also show the other defendant in the case, Matthew Allison, has confessed to some of the accusations against him. Prosecutors say when he was arrested in Idaho, he was wearing a backpack containing zip ties, duct tape, a gun, and ammunition. Investigators say they're going through thousands of posts and messages from the defendants.